Depending on which poll you believe, Netanyahu's party is running a little ahead of or a little behind the new blue and white party. It's a coalition led by political newcomer Benny Gantz, former chief of the Israeli Defense Forces. In fact, the Blue and White Party is a notable collection of military and secular leaders. Many of them once served with Netanyahu, but now are his bitter political rivals. They see the pending indictment of the prime minister as an opportunity to replace him. Israel's attorney general announced his intention to indict Netanyahu just weeks before the election. Since then, Likud has risen in the polls. Knesset Speaker Yuli Edelstein is Likud's second in command. He often fields media questions about the pending indictment. You have to remind us that indictment happens in court. And uh, before that, you know, according to the very old rule, uh, everyone's innocent until proven guilty. And uh, that's the situation of the prime minister right now. Pollster Mitchell Barak says even a week before the vote, it doesn't feel like the campaign has started. You know, there's been a lot of mudslinging back and forth, but if you walk around Jerusalem or Tel Aviv or anywhere else, you don't see signs on people's balcony. You don't see signs in their window. Netanyahu has reaped the benefits of his close relationship with President Trump and the visit of Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro to Israel. Barack recently took an in-depth survey of Israelis and found their support for Trump has skyrocketed to 73 percent. Trump has fulfilled a dream basket of Israeli wishes, from moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem, to recognizing the Golan as part of Israel, to cracking down on Iran and Palestinian terrorists. So Israelis really, to a certain extent, see that there's a Likudnik, if you will, a Likud person in the White House, and they see that Netanyahu is very, very close with President Trump. Israelis will decide April 9th whether those close U.S. ties will be enough to put Netanyahu over the top. Experts say many, if not most, voters won't even decide until the final four days. John Wagi, CBN News, Jerusalem.